With more vector-borne diseases emerging due to international commerce and travel, global warming, deforestation, and other influences, it was determined that there was an urgent need to create a new laboratory. Positioned with the county's vector control department, the new lab would focus on detecting and responding to the increasing number of diseases that could affect public health. So, in July of 2010, the new laboratory was formed and called the VDDL, or Vector Disease and Diagnostic Laboratory. The VDDL has almost revolutionized the operations of the vector control program. It has allowed the vector control program to have almost instantaneous access to data and to disease results. So if they sample something in the field, they can get the results back much, much more quickly than without an integrated laboratory. Previously, certain testing was not able to be handled in-house, which meant sending samples off to other agencies and waiting days, sometimes weeks, for results. Now, with near real-time findings, the department can pinpoint and efficiently use its resources to control disease. When we converse back and forth and discuss what's going on. Do we need to increase samples? Do we need to get samples from another area to validate what's going on in our tests? And that kind of interchange can be done just instantaneously. Using state-of-the-art equipment and specialized testing, such as DNA sequencing and robotics, scientists can quickly detect any emerging danger and better understand the evolution of pathogens that can pose greater health risks. These are tested for tularemia. The VDDL can test thousands of samples like this per year, yet the actual amount of staff within the lab is surprisingly small. We have two laboratory scientists who do the bulk of the testing. We have an epidemiologist who looks at the data from a, a global perspective, a population base. We've invested in robotics, invested in high capacity equipment, so a small number of staff can really serve the needs of a county of over three million people. This unique assemblage of experts allows endemic diseases and any emerging threats to be analyzed from multiple perspectives so that the best science, strategy, and plans can be used to protect the public's health. Already in its short life, the VDDL has uh, discovered new diseases in the county that we did not know existed here before. And I anticipate that we will continue to find diseases and pathogens uh, that we need to be uh, aware of in order to keep uh, uh, public health safe here. The VDDL is hoping to increase the number of tests that they can perform, to look for different diseases that could be encroaching on our region, and to become a resource for other counties that might not have access to a laboratory. Even though uh, we have borders and, and county lines, vectors and diseases don't respect those, uh, those borders. And so we need to be knowing and uh, understanding what is going on even outside of San Diego County as well in order to protect our residents that live within San Diego County.